about 30, 20 to 30 million shares bought at the close today. And the average for the Russell 3000, that fund and all the other funds, if any, that bought in here, I'm pretty sure it was at least most of these are the Russell 3000, if not all of them, 752. That's their average. Okay. Now I want to be clear, funds that track the Russell 3000, they are going to be adding and buying BNJO shares most likely next week. So maybe Monday, maybe we get a nice Monday. Maybe we get a huge bounce Monday. Right now in the after hours, we're going down, which is very peculiar after, you know, <laughs> millions of shares being, you know, literally millions of shares being added at the close. Very peculiar. Um, I'm, just, I'm just, I'm not going to say anything rash about what's going on here. I'm going to wait till Monday to see how it plays out in the pre-market to see if this is going to continue. Because if it does... You know what it might mean. Market manipulation, maybe. <laughs> Market manipulation, right? Shorts. Then maybe that stuff, maybe not. Okay, any, okay I don't know for sure now, so I'm not going to say for sure. But I will say that it's about 30 million. And I do think 30 million shares bought to close 752, 20 to 30 million. And there are going to be more funds next week that probably are going to be buying more BNJO shares because of this addition and in order to track the Russell 3000 itself. The short interest, right? I want to talk a little bit about this. I'm going to save most of this for the weekend so we have something to talk about because there is, I, I do have a lot of thoughts on this. But the short borrow here, right? This is. We're looking at almost 10% right now. It was only, only five yesterday. Uh, why has it doubled? Well, I'm just going to tell you, it's probably because it's getting, well, one thing we know for sure, okay, we can get why there's different reasons, you know, why it's probably because there's way more short, there's way more demand for short shares. That's why the, the fee goes up. But the fact is the higher this goes, the more likely it is for shorts to actually cover because the less likely it is for them to actually be profitable, the higher this goes. That's as simple as it gets. So I will, I'm not going to go over the data itself. The short interest data is very similar to what it was yesterday, right? It's barely, it's down about half a percent. You're still looking at basically 50 million shares. We're going to talk about more. We're, we're going to talk more about that soon, but right now, I just wanted to give you kind of a kind of a preview as to what, what what's going on here and how it will affect the stock price. I do spoiler alert, right? Cat is out of the bag. I do like the setup right now with the short interest and uh, the price and the fundamentals and the nano nozzle evidence that we just got and acquisition evidence and all this stuff. So talking about the institutional ownership, right? So you're looking at 15% right now, and this actually went down from yesterday. Even though today we got a filing on the 25th here, which is a new new fund, Nationwide Mutual Funds adding buying 12,000 shares at an average share price of $11. So, it's very confusing. I, I don't I really don't and this this the effective date on here was the 30th. This is very weird what's what's going on here. Also, look at this. Okay, it's the exact same date, exact same file date, effective date, everything, and then the share price is different for both of them. It's like how did their average price have without getting rid or of any shares or buying any more shares? Like how did they get a lower average share price, even though they have the exact amount of shares now. I don't know, but Fintel, Fintel doesn't know either. They're screwing up. They literally the institutional ownership went down today from like fifteen point seventy point fifteen point seven something yesterday. Now it's at fifteen point six. Although we only got one institution, one on filing today on the twenty fifth, which was somebody adding shares. So I I don't I, Fintel is still messing up for some reason. I, I don't know what they're doing. They did get their act together and switch and fix uh, these three funds, the FAD. All the F ones that start with F. These guys, all three of these had $22 average share prices yesterday. They fixed those, luckily. They still need to fix this calculation. Uh, I don't I don't really know what's going on with that. Maybe they're maybe hey, maybe it's gone down because uh, they had to correct something from before. And they've already added these in and they're already right. I'm not sure, but I wanted to throw that in there. We got a new fund adding shares today, buying buying in for the first time on that was the effective date was April 30th. That was the transaction file day was today so it's nothing big right but you know we very rarely nowadays get actual 13 f's and mp's so i thought i would i thought i would yeah, say that also this portfolio this 100 percent of the portfolio this entire account history 100 percent bngo i'm not shaving my beard until ten dollars and i'm not getting a haircut till fifteen dollars fit till all-time high is 1570 i'm serious and with that being said thank y'all so much this is not financial advice i will see y'all in the next one